All right, I think it's time. I've avoided this for way too long. Jacob, tell me what I've been missing. He's been missing the Monte Cristo. All the years I've been coming to Disney, it just never happened. Last time I made an attempt because we had a reservation at the Blue Bayou, but they only do that for lunch, not for dinner. So I, I missed out. He missed out. But yeah. it's, it's due I time. Didn't. Yep. It's due time. So we're doing the full experience today. Monte Cristo with a mint julep, bottom, bottomless mint juleps, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to be getting that and testing out, is this sandwich worth the hype? We're yes. We're going to find out. Stick around. So believe it or not, this is the first mint julep I've had as well. This is the mint kind. The mint kind? Yep. Not the regular julep? Yeah. It's the regular mint julep. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Refreshing. Actually, I like that a lot. Minty. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it was maybe going to be tart. I'm not a big yeah. fan of really tart drinks, but this is great. And these are bottomless too, so I'm going to get a few of these. Make it worth my while. So help me out here, Jacob. What are these sauces we got here? What are these? Like a, isn't this like a chipotle mayo? Like a little bit of kick right. to it. Aioli. Okay. And, and then, then we got us a, ja it looks like raspberry this time, jam. Okay. Last time I want to say it was like, mm, not, what was the, pear, not pear. It wasn't Ooh. apricot last time. This raspberry time it looks like raspberry. Right? I think so. Okay. So this is to dip your sandwich in? Yes. Is that correct? Okay. Let's give this a try. As strange as that sounds. My favorite sandwich at Disneyland has been the toasted cheese burrilla sandwich they mm -hmm. get from Jolly Holiday. But now? But now I'm torn. Might be too early to make a decision. I've got a whole sandwich here that I need to get through, so let me dig into the rest of that and kind of see what happens. Okay, Jacob. I think I figured out why I like this so much. Um, kind of reminds me of a breakfast sandwich, mm -hmm. but it's not too sweet. It's just a little bit of sweet from the jam. Yeah. Uh, and but the powdered sugar. The um, the bread is really doughy and fluffy. I guess. And the inside. On the inside, yeah, it's really crisp on the outside too. It's deep fried. Yep. So it's got a really good crunch on the outside. It's really soft on the inside, and it's not real heavy either. It's I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. It's like a doughy, but it's light at the same time. I don't yeah. know. It's it's perfect. Yep. It's, it's, perfect. it's the best sandwich. Yeah, really good combination of flavors too. I don't know. There's a, a triple cheese you can get. I got the one with the turkey inside. Mm -hmm. Turkey or ham? Turkey. That was turkey. Yeah, turkey. Yeah. Um, I'm matching the cheese one's good too, but mm -hmm. if yeah. you don't like turkey, but I yeah, so, this but one's fun. It's like delicious. fantastic. Yeah. Turkey, cheese, deep fried bread, jam. It's not a combination I expected to like. Right. I gotta admit, it's kind of like. Um, the flavors shouldn't go well together, but it's it's perfect. Yep. It's, it's, one, it's what would you? Yeah. How would you rate it? Out of ten. Out of ten, um, I'd give it a ten. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I said, out of all the sandwiches I've ever had, the toasted cheese and beef Maria um, mm. sandwich from Jolly Holiday is my favorite. Um, man, I don't know. It's too hard to call. Both of those are a ten out of ten. Yeah. Right now they're neck and neck. Maybe give me some time to think about that, and we'll, yeah. we'll see if this actually overtakes it. But yeah, that's hands down the two best sandwiches I've ever had. Final verdict. I would say probably better than the burrito sandwich. Wow. It's very, very close. So at uh, Cafe Orleans, you get a full sandwich with uh, the fries or a salad. Um, but I mean, you're on vacation. Why, why would you get a salad? Yeah, there's garlic fries too. At the Blue Bayou, you only get a half sandwich and I'm not sure if those come with fries or not. I think um, they do. But, you know, a little bit fancier dining experience. This is a lot easier to get into. So the reservations for Blue Bayou are super tough to get. Yeah. Cafe Orleans, not so much, but you can actually walk up list usually yeah. for this too. So um, <clears throat> not too terribly difficult to get here. I would recommend getting um, maybe one meal for two people to split because it's a lot of food. Um, yeah. So... I haven't eaten much today, yeah. so I, I actually got the whole thing down myself, but I'm pretty stuffed right now. Ordinarily, we're eating tons of snacks all day long, so if you're doing that like we are, there's no way you're going to eat a whole one by yourself. So no. This, this is a great option to split. It's like uh, what, 25 bucks. Yeah. So when you split that in half between two people, it's pretty good value. It's yeah. a lot of food, um, and 
get the mint juleps with it because they pair perfectly. Yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome combination. So, um, if you haven't come to the um, Cafe Orleans before, you haven't got a Monte Cristo. I really highly recommend, recommend it. Recommend it, please. If you've had it before, um, you probably know how stupid it was for me to wait to get one of these. But um, I can't wait to have another one. Probably not today. Yeah. <laughs> but however, um, definitely this is a go-to from now on. I, I can't wait to get my next one. So. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fancy YouTube stuff and we'll end this off like we always do by saying thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching.